Are you taking Praxis Elementary Education Mathematics Test 7003, Algebraic Thinking? If so, then this video may be helpful to you. My name is Tom, and I'm a test prep expert here at study.com, and I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see on the test. So let's get started. What is the result of adding the linear algebraic expressions 3x plus 4 and 5x minus 7? All right, so when we combine algebraic expressions, we are combining like terms. So if we see here, we have a 3x, which is a like term to the 5x, and we have a constant 4, positive 4, which is a like term with the negative 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the 3x and the 5x. So 3x plus 5x is going to come out to be 8x, and then the positive 4 minus 7 is the same thing as 4 plus a negative 7, so we're going to get negative 3. So our answer here would be 8x minus 3. In the expression 4x squared plus 7x minus 5, which term is the constant? So what we're looking for in our expression is we're looking for the term that does not have a variable in it. So we have the x squared, we have the x, and the only term without a variable is the negative 5. So that means my constant is negative 5. Given the function table below, what is the rule that defines the relationship between the input x and the output y? All right, so we have our table here, and we have four choices, y equals x plus 2, y equals 2x plus 1, y equals 3x, and y equals x squared plus 1. So what we're doing is we're looking at the relationship between x and y. So in this case here, we can see that the relationship is that we have to multiply the input by 3, and we would get our output. So for example, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12. So the other choices on here, we can easily test to see that those are not correct, because if we plug in 1 into this first choice, x plus 2, we would get 3, but if we plug it into the second choice, where x equals 2, we would get 4 and not 6. Same thing with the second choice here. We would get 5 when we plug in x equal 2, not 6. And in the fourth choice, we are squaring x and adding 1. And when we plug in x equal 1, we would get the y output of 2. So this is incorrect. So the correct answer is, since we're multiplying by 3, we went y equals 3x. A bakery sells muffins for $2 each and cookies for $1 each. If a customer buys a total of 10 items and spends $14, how many muffins did the customer buy? All right, so in order to do this problem, we are going to have to set up some variables for muffins and cookies, and we're going to use a system of equations in order to solve this. So we're going to let M equal the number of muffins, and we're going to let C equal the number of cookies. So when we're solving a system of equation, if we have two unknowns, we're going to need two equations to solve this. So the first equation we can get by the total number of items that the customer buys. It says that the total number of items is 10, so that means that M plus C has to equal 10. So that'll be my first equation. And then my second equation is going to be how much money the muffins were selling for and how much the person spent. It says a bakery sells muffins for $2 each and cookies for $1 each, and a customer buys a total of 10 items and spends $14. So my second equation is going to be 2 times M for $2 per muffin plus 1C because it's $1 for each cookie, and then they spent $14. All right, so we have two equations set up, and what we want to do is we want to figure out how many muffins did the customer buy. So the best bet here would probably be to use substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the top equations for C, and I'm going to sub it in to the second equation. So in this case here, if I'm going to solve for C, I have to subtract M from both sides. Okay, so if I have M plus C equals 10, I'm going to subtract M from both sides and I would get C equals 10 minus M, because 10 and M are not like terms, so I can't combine them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub in 10 minus M in for C in the second equation. So I would get 2M plus 10 minus M equals 14. And then to solve this, I'm going to combine my like terms. 
So I have 2m minus m, so that's going to be 1m plus 10 equals 14. So to get m by itself, I'm going to have to subtract 10 from both sides, and I would get m equals 4 muffins. That concludes our video, Praxis Elementary Education Mathematics Test 7003, Algebraic Thinking. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to visit study.com for more practice problems like this and access to personalized learning plans. Thanks for watching. Thank you.